guys, my name is Chase. My name is Sean, and this is The Mighty All-Stars. This weekend is Mother's Day, so if you don't have a present, this is the perfect opportunity for you to get together with your daughter or whatever kids you have. You may have a whole bunch of them. Who knows how busy you are? Anyways, if you want to make something that's cheap and easy that you can do for your mom that's really going to make her feel appreciated, cupcakes are definitely the way to go. I am not a cupcake specialist, but you know what? My wife is a professional baker, so I'm going to call her in, and she's going to do this with my daughter, and they're going to bang at the cupcakes. with flowers on them. All moms love flowers, so we're going to make cupcakes with roses on them and hydrangeas. Super easy. Um, anybody can do them. We bought the piping tips at the grocery store because we know right now with COVID-19, uh, most of the stores are closed. But you could use, um, if your mom has some, you can use the metal ones. You can have all the different metal ones. There's different kinds you can get. You can use Russian piping tips, which are these big ones that make flowers themselves. And there's all different kinds of styles of pipes, piping tips. So first we're gonna make American buttercream. So we need a mixer. If you don't have a, a mixer, you can use a hand mixer but it's gonna be a little harder. So I suggest having a mixer. And if you don't have that, you can also buy at the grocery store, um, not the tubs of icing, but the little decorated tubes, the different colors that match these. And you can just put these on the bottoms and use that. You'll use a lot though, if you're making one box cupcakes. We made, normally I make my own cupcakes, but I figured I would do something easy for you guys to see. We did a, a box box cake mix, and it made a dozen and a half cupcakes. So if you need those little tubes, I would suggest at least four to decorate. At least get a green, maybe a pink, a purple, yellow, mom colors, I guess flower colors. So for the but for the American buttercream, we use American buttercream because it pipes nicely, you can do the flowers really nicely, and it's easy to make, and kids love it. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. There's different kinds of buttercream. There's American buttercream, Italian buttercream, Swiss meringue buttercream. Depending on which ones, I use, I only use, it. Um, American buttercream and Italian buttercream. One thing you want to do first all the time when you're baking is wash your hands. You don't want dirty hands touching your food. So I've already washed my hands. On the stand mixer, you need the whisk attachment. You put the butter in, you put half a pound of butter. So one cup of butter, which is half of a block of butter. I don't suggest using margarine it's, or plant-based butter. You can if you want to, but it's not as good as butter. You can also use uh, Crisco. A lot of people use the Crisco. It's vegetable shortening and it's white and it looks like a butter. It comes in a little box. Um, that's what a lot of the bakery store bakeries use to make their buttercream. And it's super, well, it's cheaper than butter and it keeps the white really white because the butter is yellow. So it really keeps the, t the uh, color of the icing, but it tastes kind of greasy and gross. So I use butter. You're gonna mix the butter in the mixer. You have to make sure it's room temperature so it's soft. When you mix it, you're gonna mix it until it starts to change color. You'll see it get lighter.
It's been mixing for a couple of minutes. You'll notice it actually got lighter. It's not as yellow as regular butter. Like I said, it will change color. It's a little bit lighter, not too much. This butter is a, the country churn one, so it's a little bit uh, whiter than normal butter. But you'll, you have to make sure that you get all around and you mix it. See, like there's a difference. You can see the difference consistency between the whipped part and the thick part. You have to make sure it's all whipped together. It'll be all soft. So we'll mix it another for another, scrape down the sides and mix it for another couple of minutes. A couple, I mean two. Not 10 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add the icing sugar. All our butter is whipped. It started out a little bit lighter, almost white. You don't wanna beat it too much because then uh, it will get all weird, but you beat it enough just to get it light and fluffy. Now you're gonna add the icing sugar. You add a little bit at a time because otherwise you will have a big mess. So you add a little bit. This is a one kilo bag. I don't need the whole bag. You can use the smaller one, but I I just buy that one at the grocery store or at Costco. It's cheaper. Put it on stir. Don't put it on full blast. Just stir it so it gets together. It mixes together and doesn't make a big cloud or mess. Because otherwise you'll have sugar everywhere. Scrape down the sides too helps. Faith, do you have any questions? No. No, you're good? Yeah. Faith, you like that mommy knows how to bake? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now it's been mixing for a few minutes. You can see it looks a little bit like icing, but there's still too much butter in there versus sugar. So we're gonna add more sugar. Turn it off, otherwise you'll have a big mess. Put in another bit. If you have a measuring cup, you can do like two cups at a time. This recipe usually calls for about six cups of icing, sugar. So mixing it, put it on stir. And just gradually go up a little bit at a time. Then you're gonna put vanilla in. There's vanilla extract. I, use, I like French vanilla in my icing, it's really good. It's a little bit different. Um, you can use real vanilla, but right now real vanilla is very expensive, so we're buying vanilla extract. It's the same, just a lot cheaper. So we're going to add measuring spoons. We're going to add that. Oh, it smells so good. Want to smell vanilla? Mm, this is really good. You're gonna put in one teaspoon at a time. We'll make it a little bit thing and then put another teaspoon in. And continue mixing. Okay, we're gonna add the last little bit of sugar. It's looking a little dry right now, so we're going to add some milk too. And that will really cream it up. You just put like a little, two little splashes. And turn it on. Want to record over here? It came out a lot creamier than before. Before it was getting really dry. It looked like dough. Just gradually get faster and faster. And just 
do that for like 30 seconds and we're done. Okay, it's been mixing for that 30 seconds, but you just want to make sure you scrape down the bowl because there's a lot of sugar on the top. And sometimes there's sugar that gets to the bottom, so you don't want a lump of sugar or a lump of butter. So just mix it. Try and get the icing out of the beater. Use a silicone spatula that really works. I'm just going to mix it a few seconds and that's it. That's it. Icing is done. So, if you want to do icing from the store, like I said, I suggest using the colored tubes. I don't suggest if you want to pipe it on the things, don't use a tub of icing. But if you're just going to spread it on, you can use the tub. The tub tastes really good. Full of chemicals. <laughs> okay. So, what colors do you want to make, Faith? I don't know. Uh, Four different colors. What colors are in the box? We have blue, um, I think maybe a red because it's like it's pink. pinky top. Pink. It's the color on the top. Okay. Pink, um, green I'm guessing, and a purple. Okay, perfect. So, you want to try a bit of the icing? You don't need a spoon, just use your fingers. No. Nobody's gonna touch it after. Here. No, no. Here's after. Okay, you can wash your hands again. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna start decorating. First, you need a piping bag and some piping tips. Like I said, I just got these at the grocery store in the baking section. Um, sometimes they have Wilton stuff. You can get the metal ones. If you go to Walmart, Walmart has stuff too. I'm usually Walmarts are open right now. So if you don't have a piping bag, you can use a large Ziploc bag. You just cut the corner out and you put your piping tip in. Put your your stuff, your icing in there, and then hold it like a bag. That works really well as well. So first we need to open these. Okay, you wanna come closer? It shows you the different tips for the different dolls. So there's, oops, I'm gonna mix them up. This open one star, you can make the roses with or you can make petals. This one makes stars and shells. This one, you can make petals with that as well. You make petals with this one, and this one is for leaves. Okay. So first we're going to make petals. And then the stars is what you want to use for the hydrangeas. So we need the rose one, the open star, and the petal. And you can use the other petal, but we'll do that another time. Okay, so we cut a little hole. Don't cut it too big. You just want to be able to put your piping tip in there. Cut it there, put it in the garbage. Otherwise, it might land in your icing. Okay, we're gonna use, put it in here. Put it to the bottom. And you can see, the hole is not big enough. So you push it back a bit, flatten it out. Make a beer hole. Garbage. Okay, and you push it as much as you can. You don't really want it covering the holes. I don't know if you can see that. Right now it's overlapping on the holes. So it's still a tiny bit too small. If you just want to cut a little bit off. Okay, a trick to filling the bags is using a nice tall glass. So you put it in here and then you fold the bag over. Okay, 
like that. Okay, now you can fill it easier. Oh wait, we have to decorate the, we have to color the icing first. I almost forgot. Okay, so we're gonna, we'll do some pink. We'll do all the colors. Okay. So one roll of each color. Okay, we're using the neon liquid colors by Clubhouse. You can use gel colors. I recommend gel colors, but like I said, I wanted to buy stuff that you would find at the grocery store. Okay, we're gonna start with this one. You put a little bit. Be careful, they'll stain your hands. So a few drops, and then we'll see how that color looks. Better to add a little bit and add more color than too much. You wanna mix that? Okay, you see I'm mixing the color. You don't need to have a, a solid color. Like, look, there's all nice pieces of white in there. Though That's fine. Like, when you're making flowers. If you're making other stuff, no. But for flowers, flowers aren't all one color. So having little bits of different tinges of the color is amazing. Look at the pink. I think we're going to need more pink than that, though. Because the purple we're going to mix with the blue to make the hydrangeas, but the pink we're just going to do full roses on the pink. So mix some more pink. Okay, and we'll do a little bit of blue to mix with the purple and then we'll do some green for the leaves. Okay, we're going to start with the pink for the roses. So Faith mixed it. She didn't mix it all the way. So you can see a little bit of white in them in the mixed in. It makes it really nice, looks more realistic than if it's just a solid color. So put in the thing and that using the glass really, really helps, especially if the glass goes out, but even a regular glass is fine. Okay, pull it up, just be careful you don't drop it on your table. And put it down. You want to squeeze all the icing down towards the tip. So you push it down with your fingers. If you have a silicone scraper or anything, you can use that too. That really helps. Okay. So you're gonna take the bag with your thumb like this, close it, and then twist. So you're holding it like this. Okay. And then you can squeeze. Here for you to get a move. I'm gonna start. Do the flower. You start in the middle. Okay, so you push it and you start going around and around. There's your flower. Pretty. Let's see, does it look like a real rose? I don't know, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Faith, you want to try that? Sure. Just be a little careful because with these plastic tips, sometimes the icing goes down the bag a little bit. Okay? Well, like this. Yep. Yeah. Remember like this? Yeah. Okay, so you have lost pressure. Up high. Okay, now it's turning it around. It's a little hard to squeeze. Perfect. And then you're going to go there and then you're going to pull it up. Look at that awesome rose. Nice and job. And Faith has never done these before. No, even no. though, yeah, even though I make cakes all the time and she's helped me with a lot of cakes, she's never made piped the roses. No, I have not. Nope. Awesome. Here's five. Good job. Okay, now we're going to mix the two colors for the hydrangea. Okay, now we're going to make the hydrangeas. I don't know if you guys know what hydrangeas are. They're like clusters of flowers. Usually they come in like purples and blue, pink and white. So you need to mix the two colors. So we're going to put a scoop of the purple in, a scoop of the blue in. You can either mix it side by side or on top of each other. Doesn't really matter. So just keep putting, alternating the colors. 
Like I said, you can do pink and white. Those work, look really nice too. Then you're gonna mix them together. Then push it down. You can see the two colors mixing. It doesn't matter, they don't have to be uniform. Okay, push it down. Okay, and you're gonna take your cupcake and you're just gonna do stars all over the cupcake. Okay, so you just squeeze that. It's actually really not this tip <laughs> that does the hydrangeas. It's usually a, similar to that tip, but it doesn't matter. This still looks really nice and mom will really like them. It'll be like a bouquet of flowers, but cupcakes. See now some of the blues coming out. And you just pipe the whole cupcake like that. Faith, are you watching? Yep. Okay, you gonna be able to do this one? I think. Okay. So this is super easy. You just do the stars, and then you have a hydrangea cupcake. Okay. Put it down because it's yeah. a little blurry. There you go. Look at all the nice roses that Faith did. Super star cake decorator. Okay, now Faith's gonna practice. I'm going to do the hydrangeas again. Normally every tip, especially the metal ones, usually have a number on them. For the roses, it's a 1M. So this is the hydrangea tip. I don't remember what the number is and there's no number written on this one. So again, you just pop it and I'm doing the, the pink and the white. So it makes more of like little tiny petals. And you can do it. You don't have to. Ha you don't have to hold it. This one's easier. The rosy, it's better to hold the cupcake, but this you can do like that. See, it makes super nice little petals, and you don't have to be a superstar to decorate the cupcake. Beautiful hydrangea cupcake. See if you can tell the difference between the two. One's the stars and this one's the petals. So if you have access to this tip, looks like a, almost looks like a star. Use this one. If not, you can use the star. It's okay. Mom will love them either way because you made them. Next, we're gonna do the leaves for the roses. So this is a leaf tip. So you have this one. Looks like an open mouth. Okay. Again, we cut the hole in the bag. Again, I'm gonna use my metal ones. I just like them better. They fit a little smoother in the bag, but if you have those and you are using the, uh, the store-bought tubes, they screw on, like there's threads on them, they can screw on right to the tube. So you're fine. Okay, you push the tip in. You make sure it's it's on the bag. There's no air in between. Okay? Flip it. Put it in your glass. And then open your bag. If you can open it, it helps. Okay. In your bag. Flip it over. You can do this with a plastic cup too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be glass. I just, personally, I like this glass. The green, I would not normally do a neon green leaf. <laughs> it looks really bright, but that's the color we got with our colors we used, so we're gonna use that today. And I use all of it. Okay. Faith, you ready to do leaves? I guess. You guess? So, what has your, been your favorite cake that mommy ever made for you? Mm, that's a hard one. That's a really hard one. Well, let's go over the cakes that I've made for you over the years. The Paris one. Yep. Chocolate one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah. 
I think I did a Shopkin one. I know I did a Shopkin one for other people. I don't know if I did a Shopkin You can't one. saying Shopkin or Shotgun. Shopkin. Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> We do. I did a geometric, like glow in the dark one for oh, your, one was really cool. your glow in the dark party. I like that one. I've done this year was supposed to be a hockey cake, but your party got canceled because you were bad. <laughs> 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 no, your party got canceled because of COVID, because your birthday's at the end of March. So yeah. you were supposed to have a hockey cake with a girl hockey player that I had at a sugar sheet, so the a uh, puck on the top that was. Smashing into the ice, it was gonna look so cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, okay, so the mouth is open towards the cupcake and the pointy top on the top. So you're gonna squeeze and then you're gonna stop and squeeze a little bit more and pull. It's kind of yellowy, eh? Well, well. well, as long as your mom doesn't have good eyesight, it should be fine. Yeah. Try it's and like get green. Lime it's like a limey green. Very limey green. Okay, you think you can do that? You want to practice think. on this one? Sure. Okay. Remember, put your hand, you're holding it there. The mouth, open mouth towards the cake. Then squeeze, make it big, and pull. See? Perfect. Ooh. Natural. You know how long it took mommy to learn how to do all these things? No. My cakes were horrible before. Right, Sean? Yes. <laughs> my dad used to make me make his cake all every year for his anniversary. And uh, yeah, I did not know how to make any of these cakes. She knew how to bake, but did not know how to decorate yeah. at all. So I took a couple of classes. Learned the basics and then I went crazy and took all kinds of crazy classes and learned how to make all kinds of amazing cakes. I'm trying to think what other birthday cakes I've done for you. I've done so many. I think I just remember most of them that you did for other people. Yeah, me too. I remember the turtle the turtle one was like so cool. The turtle one was one of my favorite was one of my favorite first ones. It was the first one I ever used fondant was I made a life size uh, realistic looking turtle. And it nephew. was actually really re realistic. It was very realistic looking. It was kind of gross though watching him cut it and eat it. I remember when he eat when he ate the foot. Yeah. That turned his teeth green. Yeah, because I painted it. I hand painted the fondant and the the feet, the legs, whatever were all fondant. So the feet are so small. That's okay. It's a small piping tip. When you're doing flowers. Doesn't matter if the icing is mixed. So this is the the pink and white for the hydrangea. If I just want to put in, I have no more, like hardly any left. You don't have to change the bag. You can just mix them together. It's fine. And you put it in. That, this is my little trick. You hold, you flip it over, and you hold it. It's harder to get in the in the glass once you've done that. Okay, and then you can mix it, and it makes really cool different colors. Maybe you should put a little bit of blue in there. You haven't? Never mind. I would say we didn't even use the blue yet, but I forgot we did. Yep. Um, yep. Okay. Right. So it's going to make nice different colors. Okay. Again, Oops. make sure that you get the air out. Use nice little hydrangeas. Oh, with a nice purple in there. Perfect. So now we're going to use a Russian piping tip. Just a little extra something. If you find these, you might not find them at a grocery store. Um, as you can see, this one already had an accident because I haven't used these in forever. So when I was trying to pipe it, it kind of screwed up. So all you do is scrape it off. Especially if your cake is not crummy like this, like the store-bought kind, it's not super crummy. So you just scrape it off, put it back in the bag. And as you just press, you pull up. So it's supposed to look like, this one I think is a tulip one. They're not perfect, they take a lot of practice. Hold on. I can probably not do this. Yeah, let's see. Just squeeze and pull up. Squeeze and pull up. See, it looks like tulips. 
They have all different kinds, different things. And then, here we hold that. The green. Then we're going to add some little leaves to it. Some nice little leaves. It's tulips, usually you have leaves. Just cover the area. I like to use chocolate cupcakes when I'm doing flowers. Because it kind of looks like the dirt. And, well, I like chocolate. So, bonus there. Why is there crazy? Yes, you, you were letting the icing come up the top. Oh, no. You have to make sure the icing always comes down. Just do your little leaves. This one's a little harder to work with. But, and the tips come in different sizes, like the little piping tip you could use. I have bigger ones too, I'll make much bigger leaves. But this is good for like when you're just doing a little cake or cupcakes. And this one's also good if you're doing uh, sunflowers. They can do some, these look like sunflowers. A lot of leaves, but let's see if we can do them going up. You can even do them going up. That's it. That's all. We have one more cupcake to decorate, but. Faith will do that one. And that's it. Put them in a nice box, on a nice plate, and your mom will love it. Grandma will love it too. Nana's getting some of these. And that's it. So, happy Mother's Day.